Right now, a social media push is underway to save Lisa Montgomery from execution. Now, she's the Kansas woman who admits she murdered a pregnant Missouri mother, then kidnapped the baby. The execution is scheduled for tomorrow in Terre Haute, Indiana. Investigative reporter Angie Ricono joins us live from right outside the prison. So, Angie, what can you tell us right now? Well, Kelly, this is where the execution will take place. This is a huge prison complex and there's numerous sections with different levels of security. So I'm going to move right over there where you see those gray buildings. That's where Lisa Montgomery is being transferred. So right now what's taking place is a public push to stop this execution. There's, of course, also a court fight. Right now for the next few hours, these supporters plan to flood Twitter and Facebook with Lisa Montgomery's history before the crime. They are writing that she is not the most evil of evil, but she is the most broken of broken people. They even wrote a song about her called Lisa's Song. But when they tie me to the chair, will you think it's fair? It's interesting to note people who love Bobby Joe Stennett have been sharing their own thoughts with the hashtag justice for Bobby Joe. Now she's not getting the attention, but there are certainly strong feelings on both sides of this case. Here you have a pregnant mother who was strangled and then cut open. This was just a horrific crime. So we are here monitoring all of the action. We're looking at where Lisa Montgomery is. The last place that we looked, she was still down in Texas. So we're waiting for her to be transferred up here before that execution, which is scheduled for tomorrow. We'll keep you updated with live reports. Reporting in Terre Haute, Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News. So Angie, you mentioned that Lisa Montgomery's supporters are giving a push on Twitter this afternoon. What are they trying to get out? Mm -hmm. They're trying to talk about her history of physical, mental, and sexual abuse. She has different mental illnesses that have been formally diagnosed since she has been incarcerated. And they're saying for those reasons, she shouldn't be executed. And in fact, there's now a petition before the court saying she has completely lost touch with reality. And for that reason, this execution should be halted. Okay, thank you, Angie. We'll see how this plays out. Now, KCTV5 will have more reports throughout the day leading up to a live special report tonight. In our news at 10, we'll look back at this case and the upcoming execution.